We do think that the U.S. equity markets you know, are just broadly overextended at this point. So in fact, based on a composite of the fair values as assigned by our analyst team, you know, we think stocks as a group are probably about 5% overall overvalued. Now, however, having said that, you know, we do still see value in the value category, and we do think that that should perform well for investors, you know, over the longer term. Some of the other areas that we're looking at right now is, you know, following the underperformance in the first quarter of, you know, large cap growth stocks. We do see a number of opportunities there. You know, in fact, of the 12 mega cap stocks, you know, that we had highlighted at the end of last year that we thought were overvalued, you know, eight of those had dropped over the first quarter and are now starting to present opportunities for investors. Okay, so let's talk about opportunities there. Uh, you are uh, making a call on the energy sector. What is it that you like within that space? Mm -hmm. You believe that there's still some room to run, even though the sector was an outperformer uh, in Q1. Yeah, that's true. And in fact, you know, we've been really constructive on the energy sector for quite a while. You know, generally, we think the market is just overly pessimistic on the midterm outlook for oil prices. And so as a group, you know, based on our valuations, we think most energy stocks probably anywhere from 15 to 20 percent undervalued at this point. And really, that goes anywhere from you know, the large producers, you know, such as Exxon, all the way to some of the oil service providers such as Schlumberger, as well as looking at the, uh, the MLPs as well. Picking up on what you were saying, Dave, about the underperformance of some large cap growth stocks in the first quarter, it makes me think of the FANGs, which actually really haven't been great money for investors for six months or more now. Netflix, obviously a disappointing reaction there. Does that reaction bode badly for the entire sector going forward? Or, to your point, are there some good opportunities to be had? Well, you know, that's one that I wouldn't be advising investors to be, you know, getting involved in at this point. You know, again, a lot of those stocks have just run, you know, too far last year. So again, people were paying up for growth stocks during the pandemic. We're not really at the stage of the market where people have been rotating out of those stocks, getting out of that growth category and moving into the value stocks. And again, you know, we do see that, you know, the use economy is going to rebound pretty strongly this year. We're looking for U.S. GDP about 6.2% and expect that momentum to carry in the next year at 4%. So a lot of those cyclical names that's going to be in the value category are going to have very good earnings growth over the second half of this year and going into next year.